Imagine a city that doesn't just sit on the land, but floats upon the sea. A city shaped like an octagon, stretching across the waters of the Red Sea. A city powered entirely by clean energy, with zero cars, zero emissions, and zero waste. This is Oxagon, part of Saudi Arabia's $500 billion INEOM mega project, a futuristic port city that could redefine how humanity builds, trades, and lives. But what exactly is Oxagon? Why is it being built on the water? And can this ambitious vision survive the realities of engineering, economics, and the environment? Chapter 1. The Vision Oxagon is the industrial hub of NEOM, a planned gigaproject in northwest Saudi Arabia. NEOM itself is not just a city, it's an entire region of smart settlements and futuristic developments stretching over 10,000 square miles, about the size of Albania. Oxagon, located on the Red Sea, near the Suez Canal, is designed to be the largest floating structure in the world. Its unique octagonal shape will extend partly on land and partly over water, with vast platforms floating on the sea surface. The idea is to merge sustainability, advanced manufacturing, and global trade into one place, a city that produces, ships, and innovates without harming the planet. Saudi Arabia calls it the industrial city reimagined. But behind the slogans lies a clear ambition to reduce dependence on oil and diversify the economy for the future. Why build at sea? The location of Oxagon is not random. It sits on the Red Sea, one of the busiest maritime trade routes in the world, through which 13% of global trade passes every year. Just a few hundred kilometers north lies the Suez Canal, the choke point connecting Europe and Asia. By building Oxagon on the water, Saudi Arabia places itself directly at the crossroads of global commerce. Ships can dock right at the city, goods can move seamlessly from factories to port, and exports can reach markets in record time. Floating structures also bring another advantage. They minimize land disruption. Instead of carving industrial zones into the desert, Oxagon extends into the sea, a symbol of futuristic marine urbanism, design, and structure. So what will Oxagon actually look like? At its heart is a massive octagon-shaped port. Half of it sits on land, while the other half extends into the Red Sea. Floating platforms and modular structures will hold industries, research centers, logistics hubs, and residential districts. Unlike traditional industrial cities, Oxagon aims to be human-centered. That means walkability, greenery, and open water views instead of endless factories and smokestacks. Transportation inside Oxagon will rely on autonomous vehicles and drones. Instead of polluting trucks, cargo could be moved by self-driving electric systems. Residents and workers will commute in shared electric pods, while waterways themselves will serve as natural highways. At night, glowing lights and futuristic architecture are planned to give Oxagon the appearance of a floating jewel in the Red Sea. Chapter 4. 100% clean energy. The boldest promise of Oxagon is not its shape, but its energy system. The city is planned to run on 100% renewable energy, solar, wind, and green hydrogen. This would make it one of the first industrial hubs in the world with zero carbon emissions. Saudi Arabia is investing heavily in green hydrogen plants within NEOM betting that hydrogen will become the fuel of the future. Oxagon is expected to be the testing ground for this energy revolution. Factories in Oxagon will focus on advanced industries, robotics, biotechnology, aerospace, and clean energy manufacturing. The city is designed not just to consume renewable power, but to export green technologies worldwide. Life in Oxagon. But what about the people? Oxagon isn't just factories and ships, it's also planned as a living city, 
with homes, schools, hospitals, and cultural spaces. The designers claim residents will always be five minutes away from nature, whether that means a park, a beach, or the sea itself. Artificial intelligence will be integrated into daily life. Smart homes that adapt to their occupants, healthcare that uses predictive data to detect illness early, and logistics that are automated from port to doorstep. The population is expected to reach 90,000 by 2030, though NEOM as a whole could house millions. The ultimate goal is to attract scientists, entrepreneurs, and innovators from around the world, people who want to live inside the laboratory of the future. Chapter 6. Challenges and Criticism Of course, no vision this bold comes without obstacles. Critics point out that floating megastructures are extremely expensive and difficult to maintain. Saltwater corrosion, storms, and engineering complexities make long-term durability uncertain. There are also environmental concerns. The Red Sea is home to delicate coral reefs and unique marine life. Building a giant floating city could disrupt ecosystems, raise water pollution, and endanger biodiversity. And then there's the social question. Oxagon, like the line, is being built in an authoritarian system. Human rights groups have raised alarms about forced relocations of tribes from the NEOM region. Some fear Oxagon could become a futuristic bubble for the wealthy, disconnected from the realities of ordinary Saudis. Finally, there's the economic risk. At a cost of hundreds of billions of dollars, NEOM as a whole is a massive gamble. Oil money is funding it, but if global energy markets shift or costs spiral out of control, projects like Oxagon could stall much like Jeddah Tower, which has been paused for years. The future. Despite the doubts, construction is already underway. Saudi Arabia has begun dredging, laying infrastructure, and building the first industrial facilities near the site. If completed as promised, Oxagon will be the largest floating structure in human history, a fusion of futuristic design and renewable technology. It could become a blueprint for marine cities worldwide, a solution for nations facing rising sea levels, population growth, and land scarcity. Or it could become a cautionary tale of ambition outpacing reality. Oxagon is more than a city. It's a statement that the future of industry doesn't have to mean smoke, pollution, and endless sprawl. Instead, it can mean clean energy, smart systems, and harmony with... But whether this dream will sail or sink remains to be seen. As the sun sets over the Red Sea, Oxygen stands as a symbol of humanity's eternal desire to push boundaries and build the impossible. If you want more deep dives into the world's most daring projects, from ancient wonders to futuristic megacities, make sure you subscribe now because the next story might just change the way you see the world.